This is the nighttime edition. I'm just going to put Snoopy to sleep here. And this is a bedtime ASMR to help you fall asleep. And, you know, after Snoopy's had a long day, it's time to tuck him in and uh, get a good night's sleep. And, um, you know, sometimes it can be a bit restless at the end of the day to get to sleep might be a little difficult. So hopefully this ASMR video will help you fall asleep and I know Snoopy's had a long day and it can be kind of stressful sometimes just to have a lot of stuff going on so I think it's important to get all nice and tucked in. He's been running around all day. Hey, maybe I might do a bit of a bedtime story here too, just to, just to help ease the time to getting to sleep and uh, how's that Snoopy? Is that nice and cozy warm? Just want to make sure that uh, you're all nice and bundled up. I noticed you're sleeping on your back. Is that uh, normal that you'd be sleeping on your back? Or do you prefer to sleep on your side? On your back? Back's good? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you there. How's the temperature doing? Did, did you want me to roll it down a bit? Make sure that, that you're getting enough time to... It's a memory foam mattress, so it should adjust with the temperature. But, you know, it could be a cool day or a warm day, depending on your body temperature. So I just want to make sure that you're nice and warm. Did you want me to keep it rolled out for now, or... You try the single layer for now and give you a bit of, bit of a bedtime story here before I maybe tuck you in fully. But so two, two dogs were in a park one day and they saw a child that uh, was climbing a tree and the, the child thought he could keep climbing and climbing. So he, he did. He kept he kept climbing that tree until he got to the very top branch, but he didn't realize how far down he would be up, up at the top of the tree and he was a bit scared to kinda get get home and to get off the tree and these two dogs that were in the park, they saw the boy that was at the top of the tree and decided, hey, we, we need to go and help this, this boy who's on the top of the tree. So they decided to work together and they um, decided to build a ladder for this tree. So they, they ran around looking for branches spare tree branches and they they put the branches together and uh, to form a bit of a ladder so that the boy could could climb down from this tree because the boy was in a very precarious position being at the top of the tree it, it was a little scary to, to to get off these branches so they so the boy just you know, sat on the top branch waiting for the dogs to put the ladder together, using all the tools to their dis at their disposal. And uh, they used various twigs to keep the branches from falling off. And they built the strongest of ladders to save the boy. And uh, they put the, the tree ladder together and 
carried it over to the tree and placed it against the tree trunk to make sure that the ladder was nice and stable, that it could hold the weight. The dogs, the two dogs decided, you know, they'd climb on top of the uh, the tree ladder to make sure it could hold their weight because they, the, the dogs were roughly the same weight as the boy. So they made sure that the the steps on the ladder would hold, and, and they did. They, they held very well. The dogs jumped up and down on, on the ladder, and, and the ladder kept, kept steady, and there was no, no breaking at all. And they said, hey boy, it's time. You can come on down. The ladder is safe. So the boy reached down to the, the, the top rung of the ladder with his foot and managed to step on the ladder and then one foot after another was able to to climb down onto the ladder and slowly go down the ladder and the boy took his time to do it safely but the biggest heroes of the story it would have to be the dogs and their and their laborious efforts to construct this ladder and help save the boy. So the boy managed to get all the way down the ladder safely without any issues at all. And that's the story of what I'd like to call boy's best friend and at the end of the day the dogs were were these rescue dogs so they were they're kind of these well they were stray stray rescue dogs so they they had worked in in search and rescue but they, they were strays and they had been left neglected and they just happened to be in the area and they saved the boy. The boy said to the parents, the parents who happened to be way off in the distance, not paying attention to their boy, but that's aside from the point. The, uh, the, the boy urged the parents to adopt the, the two dogs to have them uh, adopted into their home. And they decided that they would adopt these two dogs to keep the boy safe at all times in the now in the present and in the future and uh, they all lived happily ever after the family including the neglectful parents but it all worked out in the end and that's the bedtime story see you're still awake. It might be helpful to maybe, I was going to say you could cover your eyes with the ear, with your ears, but not sure. Let's, let's tuck you in a bit better here. Uh, keep you warmer. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to fall asleep, which is okay. Did you want maybe a, like a hot towel on your head, or you're good, are you nice and cozy now? There we go. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to fall asleep and that's okay. Yeah, there we go. How's the pillow? How's your neck doing? Is the neck good? It's good. Maybe I'll be silent here for a few seconds just to let you go to sleep here.
have you thought maybe counting down from ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sometimes I like to count goats, so if the goats are flying by, just to imagine these, these goats flying over the moon, and the goats just sort of gall galloping with glee, and that sometimes helps to kind of fall asleep and Counting the goats over the moon, one by one. See, sometimes that's what you have to do. Let's just count. One goat, two goat, three goat. Four goats, five goats, six goats, seven goats, eight goats, nine goats, ten goats. I also like rabbits too, fluffy rabbits. Sometimes The gentle petting of the rabbit is all you need. Some petting. Just take some time to fall asleep after a stressful day can be a bit anxious thinking about all of your thoughts. You just kind of have to let the thoughts float away. And if you do, it makes life a little easier to just let the f those f thoughts float away, kind of like a cloud. A nice fluffy cloud floating in the sky. And picture the happy dogs. Happy dogs just saving the boy living happily, frolicking in the, the fields. Happy dogs. How are you doing, Snoopy? Are you all tucked in? All ready for sleep? Ready to fall asleep? Just letting the thoughts go by, not letting it distress you out too much, just enjoying the time. So good. Sometimes it's helpful to 
take a deep breath in and then breathe out to just let the anxiety float away. all it takes. Breathe in. And breathe out. How are you doing, Snoopy? Nice and warm, nice and cozy, just the way we like it. I bet this is more comfortable than sleeping on the doghouse. You know, the doghouse is, it's nice to kind of straighten out the back, but sometimes you need something a little, a little bit more cushiony just to help, help ease yourself to sleep. Are you doing well, Snoopy? Well, doing good. That's good. Some deep breaths. And breathe out. Like you're floating on the clouds. You know, life can be stressful, so it helps to just think about happy thoughts every now and then. Happy thoughts. To know that everything will be okay. be okay. You're all tucked in. And you're safe and sound. That's the most important thing in the world. Good night, Snoopy. Sweet dreams. Don't let
let the bed bugs bite.